today I'm preparing cocoa yam fufu. Yes, minkin fufu papebi with good light soup and fried redfish. This recipe, eh? hey, chai 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 chai. Eh, the papa. Imagine getting this on one hot afternoon. Ow, nayan ka on sanka. Nay, dear busy with him. Someone would soon be see a corner. So let me show you how I made this. So I marinated the fish with only salt and allowed it to sit for 30 minutes and fried it. This is my goat meat. It is nicely washed and I'm going to season it with ginger, garlic, chopped onion, salt, one bouillon cube. I will then add a little water to it and cook it for 30 minutes. It's been 30 minutes now and the meat is well cooked as you can all see. I will proceed to the soup. In a saucepan, I will add my onion, tomatoes, garden eggs and red pepper. The ripe garden eggs are best for making light soup. Sana mami me. <laughs> I will add water and cook it till it's soft. It's the same with vegetables, not bean. Yeah, my vegetables are cooked and I'm going to blend it, sieve it, and add it to the soup. this because I want the soup to have a smooth texture. Yeah, we are dealing with light soup here, so everything must be light. cook this for 15 minutes after 15 minutes I'm going to add my fried fish cook it for also 10 minutes under low heat at 10 minutes and our soup is ready so now we are going to prepare our cocoa yam fufu and this is the cocoa yam I will peel it, cut it into smaller pieces. I already have my frozen cassava, so I will just boil it together. Yam with frozen cassava, make sure you place the cocoa yam under, then you put the frozen cassava on top because the cassava is already frozen and it wouldn't take much time to be cooked. I'm
To check if your cassava is cooked, you will press it with your finger. When it's soft, it means it's cooked. I will then drain the water from the cassava, open it for the vapor to come out. Then I will separate the cassava from the cocoyam. Now let's pound our fufu. Make sure you pound the cocoyam first because when it, it gets colder, it will be very hard to pound and it will become very lumpy. We want a smooth fufu so we are pounding the cocoyam first. Now I'm serving my fufu with my good light soup papa behind a punch in Kakrankasa Ede. Please, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Comment, share, like, share my videos. See you in my next video. Bye bye.